<laughs> Snipped the tip of his cock off uh, with a pair of scissors. Three Ooh. years old. Are we live, man? Yeah, I think so. Bullshit. Maybe. Look at this, everyone. You might be thinking, what? What the hell's going on? I don't even know which camera to look at. That's how crazy uh, that things are right the, now. The left one. That one there. Right, so as you all know, we had to um, evacuate Michael's house. The r- real estate there, by the way, bunch of absolute fuckwits. Holy shit! And uh, he left um, like a bit of plastic, bit of plastic in the garden out the front. So you're gonna have to like organize to get that clean. And Shut we- the fuck up! God, so petty. Just pick it up. It takes like two <laughs> fucking seconds to pick that up. Just put it in the fucking bin. You dumb fuck. There was probably like, I guess like obviously there was a few things scattered around. There was like seventy photos. Yeah, but like of <laughs> random shit. Oh Jesus! Anyway, we're in James's garage until we find a, a house to live in. We're on the hunt. There is a huge rent shortage at the moment in Brisbane because everyone fucking rented the fuck out of shit during COVID. Everyone moved here, and now there's nowhere to live, and we can't find a place. And we're having to film in James's garage. Thank you, James. <laughs> He's a good man. Here we fucking are. This man. is, yeah. Until we find something more permanent and then, yeah. But like, we're going to have to rent another house and then set up a set there. So we'll have to move again by, by the end, before the end of this season. And then hopefully when we buy a fucking place, eventually we'll have to move the set there and then it will stay there forever. But it feels right in the garage. Yeah, it's nice here. We don't have a green screen. Let us know in the comments what you fucking think about that shit. Personally, I kind of fucking dig it. Yeah, the garage it's, look it's is like, very us. It's more on brand. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Do you like it, Mr. It's, Brown? Yeah, I'm pretty cozy in here. Where like trailer park trash. This is where we belong. Matt looks real comfy on his little chair. Fucking shit. Fuck off then, cunt. <laughs> Sorry. What's what? happened? Um, we pranked Julian today. Pretty oh. good. Have we told you? No. Where do we said to him, um, "Hey, Julian, we're filming a video, of getting a playing tattoo chicken." And Wait, this won't be out. Yeah, I know. Okay, sorry. It's fucking good though. Um, we prank. Got we, we get Julian. He gets anyway. You'll see it. It's coming out. We, yeah, we prank Julian, and it's to do with tattoos. And other than that, we've just been busy oh. filming. And I went to Sexpo with Amber. Oh, was oh, yeah. it good? No, it's oh, like really? a. It's, I just it was fun. I guess because I was with her, but. It was really. I just like, picture creeps there lining up to meet porn stars. There is some like. Well, it, did if, you go? I would have, but <laughs> no one wanted to. It's a great place to people watch. Like there would have been there right are, there in amongst strange. Those creeps. You guys should have set up a store there. You guys would have had a great time. Yeah. Can you do that? We just set up a store. Or you could just say, "Yeah, we're here." Yeah, I don't yeah. think many of our fans would be like, "Oh, I man, think there'd be Marty a and Michael at Sexpo." Get a massage from Marty and Michael, yeah. dude. I reckon. Yeah, your fans at Sexpo. I reckon they'd be there. We'll offer and suck offs. And we'll brown, suck everyone off. You can go to the brown massage in the yeah. corner. And it's just you it's watching violent. them. <laughs> anyway. I had an incident at my house. You guys didn't say it was a big deal, but I felt embarrassed. What'd you do? Oh, yeah, the cum bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. You- so we can reveal that, yes, the cum bottle is in the works, yeah. only because of this story. <laughs> and um, come and on. basically, I, out. I had it out on, um, on the like the terrace my dining table just terrace. in a, its own corner on the terrace <laughs> yeah and basically uh i knew the next day that uh the the guys that check your fire alarms to make sure they work um were coming to do an inspection of my my fire alarm my uh, smoke detectors yeah and um and i said to myself all right i gotta was put he that- hot i didn't see him i wasn't there but um i said to myself i've got to put that away somewhere the cum bottle, the cum bottle, bottle. Of cum. yeah. How you w- won't reveal how full this is, no. but it's shocking to see. But it would be how full. <laughs> let's just <laughs> say, think that he let's would just have say, a if you problem, it, if it, he would notice that was calm, he would be like, "What is this? <laughs> <thing?"> <laughs> and like, what is he doing?" You, you would, yeah, you literally would have walked in, and he would have. It would have been so clear because everything was moved away from it. It's just in its own little corner on the table. Like it would have stood out so much. Was he hot? I didn't see him. Okay, but I forgot. 
to clean things up and like I've, what like, tissues and shit everywhere no 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 no. It's not, your funnel I'm not did you have your the funnel, funnel was oh! there yeah. oh my <laughs> god your cum funnel, cum funnel next funnel. to your bottle of yeah. cum so it was there like all oh, the man. all the tools were there like together porn on the screen <laughs> still no your mum there <laughs> no mum wasn't there I didn't live with mum okay but, but yeah fucking yeah they came in and then they left a card saying hey we've been oh. <laughs> like like just letting you, you should know have, oh, you should have wrote crazy. a card back saying hey i've come <laughs> yeah, yeah i've been too anyway i've had so i'm just picturing that they've come in and looked at oh. that and i've just been like imagine if he added a load in you wouldn't know it'd be helpful yeah i'm so is it what, i cannot wait to find out how percentage many percentage wise done hey. he can't he won't say uh, so like 10 no, percent maybe. maybe it'll be it'll be done before the end of the season i'm um, it's it's touch and go <laughs> bullshit really it's touch and go what 600 mil bottle touch and go yeah but what like just do if you're doing your average three loads a day which is what you do three for personal use anyway day. that's what you do well how many times do you flele clale I'm lucky Ooh. if I have time for one really one a day I'm busy, busy. Man, yeah. you gotta up your what do you mean no, busy I'm busy just before you uh, sacrifice 10 minutes of sleep to slack up <laughs> one in the morning <laughs> when you wake up one when you're at work in the stool. Do one yeah. while you're shaving. When you I get can't home. do it at work. Have one while you're shitting. You're having a shit. Have oh. a <laughs> imagine, <laughs> having, imagine having a shit bat. <laughs> no, because yeah, because then- It's a shat. No, see, you don't want to do that because then suddenly that'll become a thing yeah. and you'll want to shit and get a heart on. And then jizz on your shit. Dude. <laughs> yeah, top deck. You'll you start- top deck chocolate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you'll start relating shits with boners and- Things will get very weird. Imagine, <laughs> oh man, okay, I'm getting some weird visuals here. But, but that's that's fucked. That that so someone out there, he probably listens to the podcast. Yeah, I hope if he you does. saw a bottle of cum, <laughs> that's his. And we're sorry about that. Okay, that was no, in no way sorry. meant to be like it. You weren't Let's hitting on him. It didn't trigger you. Let's just say the bottom is looking weird rather oh, fucked. I can't wait to see this an experiment. With I'm kind man. of upset with. I this. want you to skull it. Yeah, I will. I will, I I will, will sell it for I'll, a fee. How much will you pay me? Nothing. I'll um, do it for thirty bucks. Okay. Oh, all right, I'll chip in for that. Um, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I'm. It takes a lot. I think. I think I should be congratulated on my, like, my sanity that. I've been able to stay as a normal person and maintain a cum bottle at the same time. Yeah, no, no, I, no. You well, don't, you I, don't no, deserve I, a coming from experience. Like the gully bottle that didn't. You. The gully bottle didn't send me insane. I know, yeah. but how? But to the you know what it takes for a person to maintain this for so long. Oh my god! I just thought of the best. You, okay. This you, laugh, you lose. You're gonna yeah, pour it yeah. on yourself. You no, gave no, it no. away. You gave no, it away. No, 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 no. Yep. You're gonna do something with it. You're gonna smoke. No, it. No, no. I was thinking Brown could appear in the the third series for the website of You Laugh, You Lose, our most Dun- famous series on the side. If you, yeah, if you know us and or if you haven't subscribed to the website, that's fuck probably you. our most fuck shit. And you could make a cameo slash appearance. I think we should also save some for the podcast itself, though. I wouldn't mind cooking with it, seeing if there's some sort of pancake you can make. It's it's quite fucked. There is a cum cake. There is a very strong yet unusual smell. I don't want to hear about the smell. Was the guy hot? (laughs) I don't know. Okay. (laughs) I'll give him a call. Anyway, um, guys, we'll give you a quick rundown on the episode today. All right. So, look, the lying to Lockie segment, I may have kind of fucked that a little bit yesterday. We are at Toka. So we haven't done Toka for fucking months. It's our first game back. We all played incredibly, by the way. Very well done, everyone. Oh, my God. At the end of Toka, saying goodbye, and Matt goes, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. And Lockie's like, oh, what's on tomorrow? And I was like, oh, the podcast. And he goes, oh, well, I'll know if I re- receive a call tomorrow from anyone that it's probably a fucking lie. And I was like, fuck it. I fucked it. But then I had a thought. We're going to call Lockie early on in the podcast and just and pass off like we're trying to lie to him. We're going to be like, oh, hey, dude. Like, we're going to do a, a lie. The sky's red. 
Yeah, yeah. We'll say something real dumb yes. to him. So then he thinks that the segment is over. So then he will then relax. Then an hour later towards the end of the podcast, we're going to get Scott, one of his best friends and roommates, to call him and lie to him. And then while his defenses are down, he'll think, oh, it's not Marty and Michael. They've already done it. They've failed. And then Scott will come in and drive a lie straight through his heart. <laughs> All right, so guys, before we get into anything with like sponsors and all that fucking, actually, should we quickly do fucking sponsors? No, I can get. Let's get the, the fucking we'll dumb get... fucking sponsors. Right, no, shit. we'll quickly do it. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. it. Because nah. they want to be we'll close just, to the beginning. Do, we'll keep it short. They want to be close to the beginning, and and they love that, Matt. All right, so you, you fucking coward cunt, you dumb fuck pig pig dog cunt. Fuck you. Mostly. You sitting there, sitting on your fucking seat, listening to us, go to manscaped.com, all right? They've got the fucking best shit you've ever fucking seen, you ugly pig dog shit piss. You're a wanker shit piss walking around with your fucking dumb slut legs. No one knows nothing about you, and you're a stupid dick bitch. You're a dumb cunt dog, and you're fucked up about your life. How about you fuck off to manscaped.com, cunt, and use our dis? Discount cunt code, fully actual 20 for 20% off. Tits and shit. Tits and shit, manscaped.com cunt. Slash fully actual 20 cunt. 20% off everything. Holy shit, they got some shit cunt. They got man shave you off. They got fucking sprays and goos and gumps to make you look much better than you do now cunt. So fuck off back to fuck shit den cunt and go to manscaped.com. I ain't fucking anymore cunt. It's refined. Let's just say that. <laughs> it's refined. And it's refined. Yeah. It's great. So like, look, you got undies. You've got, like, you wouldn't even think that. It's like you Manscaped even think sounds about like a, a grooming thing, but they have clothes. I still stand by the body wash as the best body wash I've ever fucking used. I'm not fucking cunt. around. It is. Anyway. And so, so yeah, manscaped.com, fully actual 20 for our discount. Fucking code, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. 20% off. Okay, it's free fucking money. Are they still liking us? Uh, we haven't sent them this month's um, ads yet. <laughs> we will have to on Friday. They're so intense. And we have a month. new guy. We have a new guy. We don't have Kyle anymore. Oh, we have no. a new Manscaped guy. So he's going to be hearing this for the first time, cunt. Oh, no. Kyle knew us. Yep. Kyle knew us. He knew about us. He knew our style. This guy doesn't. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this might be the sponsor. last Manscaped sponsor ad ever, cunt. Hey, it won't be. That was good. I Any, think. Anyway, there are other sponsors, of course, the University of Markle. And while you're listening to this, we've just posted. We've tried to, we'd, we're trying to see if you can eat ice cream, vomit it up and freeze it again and eat it again if it's exactly the same. All right. And if you can live sustainably off of that. That's out on the website right now. Does we it did work? that? We'll you'll have to watch, cunt. You'll have to fuck exactly. So you can watch, you can sign up for free for 21 days to see that video and to see if you like the content. And if you like it enough, you can stick around, right? It's ten dollars a month Australian, or like seven ninety nine US or some shit, cunt. How it's much? helpful. It's just really helpful, yeah, man. Because like, what do we find out today? Now even like every single TikTok's taken back their reach. Yeah, TikTok's Everyone changed just takes its algorithm. Reach away. Now it's harder to get viral videos on TikTok because they want you to pay for the reach, just like mm. Facebook and YouTube and all the others did. TikTok has now run its course and boom. So we have to create our own little it was bound like to happen. society. Yeah, yeah. It was everyone knew this day was coming. It's just come a lot earlier than I thought it would. I'm so annoyed at us for not put going harder. Hey, I, we did okay on TikTok. And we just started the the TikTok podcast, the fully actual podcast on TikTok. It's up to like 80k. We oh. just started that like a few weeks ago. Started posting regularly. So we really fucked up there too. Now this grind is going to be so slow on the podcast, which reminds me, please like, comment, subscribe, five star review on spotify this is the only way we grow the fucking podcast and by the way if you comment something you are in the running to win a thousand dollars that's all you have to do one comment and you're in the draw we go, we pick the winner of the any of all podcasts on season four at the end of the season and so the more times you comment the more entries you have so if you comment a billion times you will win that money Oh, even less. I reckon if you commented like a hundred thousand times. No, think about it. A so thousand. Each each podcast has about a thousand, thousand comments. You will have a fifty percent chance of winning if you do that on every single podcast. Yeah, Forty episodes. Comments, bang, you've got fifty percent 
likely going to win a grand. So 40,000 comments, you're 50 50 shot. And that will probably only take like what? A uh, day? Two weeks? A day or two? That's 500 bucks a week. You could easily get 100 out in like 20 minutes. You'd probably get like little flagged on you. Could, you could, um, as long as you, you don't could copy. copy and paste. Look at this. Look at this. Anyway, that's the, the competition that we're running. made that. Remember to fucking like and comment, cunt. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and five star reviews on Spotify. We're nearly at a thousand. Please, let's just get to a thousand. Fuck me. Anyway, that's enough yeah. begging. Oh. Let us now lie to Lockie. So this, remember, we're not expecting this to work. This is the fake. This is the decoy lying to Lockie. Get him. All right, I what should, let's, what say book, let's say that his mum is his dad. <laughs> yeah. Let's say something. No, let's so just dumb. say we're out the front. Or you just be like, oh, yeah, dude, yeah, I'm yeah. out the front. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, giggling. And then, and then, yeah. And then he'll be like, no, you're not. And then we'll be like, yeah. And then we'll be like, yeah, sorry, dude. I fucked up. I told you a talker last night. And so we knew you were going to know anyway. So yeah, we still got you. Ah, uh, the podcast there. Oh, oh dear, dude! Fuck no, no, no! That's we finished filming ages. <laughs> I'm I'm just out of the front. Are you um, at home at the moment? <laughs> no, I'm not home at the moment. The gym. Oh, you're at the gym. Fuck. All right. Well, I guess I'll just wait for you. For what? Well, I was just going to buy some um, weed off you. <laughs> yeah, I can give you some weed, mate. Fuck, it's just, it hasn't worked. He's not. I fucked it last night at Toco and then yeah. we just fucking, Fuck. this is a, this is a fail. This is a, this is everyone. This is what a fail looks like. No, nah, this is, I know what this is. This is a fucking screen. There's something else coming. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a lie. I'm hiding a lie. <laughs> if only, dude. If only. Maybe imagine <laughs> if we were traveling to your house right now or we were out the front. <laughs> Maybe we are out the front. We're doing it in the van out the front. We started doing mobile yeah. podcasts. <coughs> oh, it's that's, a, so, so, that's so sick. Anyway, no, we, we knew you, we knew you were going to pick it straight away. So yeah, well, there's nothing. I, I fucked night. it up last night when I said that we're filming the podcast. We tonight. thought it'd be funny no. us telling you, and you'd be like, "Oh, you dickheads!" And we we like getting called that now and then. Yeah. So go on. Go on what? Call us dickheads. Dickheads. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, nah, sorry yeah, about that. Like, we'll, we'll, this is in the end of it. We'll be better next week. All right, we have some shit that's going to penetrate your fucking walls, cunt, and you won't ever trust again, cunt. <laughs> oh, I love it. Bring it on. I can't wait. All right, enjoy the gym, cunt, but Bring watch it your on. back. Bring it on, cunt. <laughs> See you, Lucky. Bye, Lucky. Bye. 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 We're fucked. Fuck. He's going He's to us. So like, no, smart. So as soon as. Scott doesn't have the right tone of voice that he's used to yeah, with yeah. him, living with him. He's going to be like, you're bullshitting me. I just spoke to Marty like 40 minutes ago. It's okay. Well, that's what we do. His call way. Maybe, I reckon maybe, tell- maybe this. Let's go another decoy, right? I'm going to call Bailey his cousin. I think that's his cousin. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And also roommate. And we're going to initiate part two decoy. Cunt. Oh, oh, the part two. Okay, the part two will be Bailey. We call Bailey, right? We put him on loudspeaker and Bailey talks to him in the living room because they live together about something like, oh, there was a mess in here or I, oh, can you take the, can you get the bin out or something? I can't think of it right now. Lockie's at the gym though. Yeah, no, he'll be home by then. And then Bailey puts Lockie on loudspeaker and he's not over the phone. It's not over the phone. So we can't be involved. It's live. So Bailey goes up to him with us on loudspeaker so we can hear Lockie's voice and goes, hey dude, did you hear um, oh, the, a new war is happening? Or something. I don't know. Let's go with something easier. Oh, dude, the bins didn't get taken today. Oh, that well, like uh, the bin man didn't come today. Something. And then he goes, "Oh, really? Bang! We come into play on loudspeaker on the phone next to Bailey, and that's how he might be it. at the gym for a while. We could even just we'll, we'll recruit Bailey. We get Bailey to call him to do what Julian did last week, and we'll get Bailey's going to be the fake decoy. Does and Bailey Scott- live with him? Yeah, and we should get Bailey to. Let's keep Bailey as the real one. So we wait. We do Scott first, and then Bailey after when they're together at home, because he'll never ever suspect it if it's not over the phone. Yeah, or you or you could use Bailey as um to set up Scott more by saying, "Hey, I think the real estate called today. They called Scott. Scott's going to call us soon and tell us what's going on." Like you could bait him like more into the. Into no, the we need to phone. separate the decoys. Separate if we connect yeah, them, you can't or... connect them. Okay, but I reckon we go Scott first and Bailey. If we can get a hold of him now, 
we tell him to do the the put a call us while we uh, while you talk to Lockie. Hopefully, we'll be able to we'll hear him though. Yeah, hundred percent, we will. A loudspeaker can hear meters away. It's high tech five G shit. All right, Sorry. we'll try that. All right, so Scott will be decoy number two, and then Bailey will finish this off when he's home. Hopefully, Lockie will be home in an hour's time. So let's call Lockie now and explain what we want him to do. What's the lie we want him to do? Lockie? No, let's call, sorry, Bailey now and do the lie that we yeah, want him to do. Yeah, just ask what his number is. So I just want his phone number, not so I'm not calling him off fucking messenger. Something easy, something about, about the house. Like, oh, today, oh, it, it pissed down here today, like raining. There's no hot water. Like, it, it, like he just walks into the kitchen when Lockie's there and goes, dude. Yeah, yeah, what about it, that? There's, what if Bailey just pretends like he's just coming out of the shower and goes, boys, there's no hot water. Yep. Okay, see, Done. that's good. Boom. Lie Done. to fucking idiot will believe that. And we'll be on the so phone as fucking soon as he goes, Really? Oh my God. Yeah. Barely <laughs> got you, you fucking <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is the There's best. heaps of hot water. <laughs> I live for this shit. Bailey? Yes. Can you hear me? I can. Are you, you're not at the gym with Lockie? I am. I'm on the other side of the gym watching him. Oh, Punch fuck. Does he know, does, does he know that you've, that, that, can he see you on the phone right now? Yeah. Uh, he's not looking at me though. Okay, fuck. All right. Dude, we've, he's on to us. He's on to our plan. We're going to use... Um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Scott as a decoy. We're going to get Scott to call him and lie to him about something. And then yep. when, when you're home, to, home alone with him, when you're back at the house, you message me and we're going to call you and you're going to put us on loudspeaker. Okay. And then you're going to set the phone down near Lockie. And then you're going to say, oh, fuck boys, the hot water's out. And then when Lockie goes, really? Then we're going to come in and be like, you've been fucking lied to, cunt. So he will, uh, ne- he will, because he will, he will never expect it if, um, it's if, live if, if, if phone. you're, if there's no phone involved, you know, he won't think, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're a fucking legend. Can you send me a message as soon as you're home with him? Uh, yeah, right. Time to send your number. His number. And, and, and message me your number on messenger as well. Yep, dude, good luck, dude. The the whole weight of the this podcast is, is on your shoulders. You yes, will be the unsung hero. Uh, do you understand? This is a huge responsibility. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Oh, all right, dude. Good luck. I love you, and we'll chat soon. We've no, made right. this no, is Braveheart right. two, the movie, <laughs> sort of. I think. What is oh Scott? God! Oh God! Okay, I'm gonna call Scott now. Okay, Scott's just messaged me. All right, so. Fuck Scott's it. too early. I reckon. Let's do no, some no, questions no, let's and do, shit. Let's no, no, let's, it's gonna be no, time just, before no, they're back. He just said he's you. tired and shit. I'm gonna oh, call okay. Call. Sorry. Yo. Hey, Scotty. Um. All right. So here's the new plan. We we literally just. We just called Lockie, all right? You're on the podcast, by the way. You, we just called Lockie, and he, he was like, we lied to him, and he's like, oh, this, this is bullshit. I reckon there's something else coming tonight. So he's on to us straight away. So what we're going to do now, Scott, is you're going to be the decoy lie, all right? So you're going to call him, and- Do he's, your best. He's going to he's not, he's gonna, he's gonna think, oh, this is a lie straight away, and then we're like, oh, fuck. And then later on, when he's home with Bailey, we've contacted Bailey, Bailey's going to get in with a lie. Yeah. Yeah. So are you home? No, nah, not yet. I was going to say, I'm almost home with my car because I've got it on the trailer. What car? My drift car. All oh, right. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, bro, I got a fucking text. I always told Bailey and Hainsey, who was home today? All of us. Well, I got an email saying that we've got a fucking strike now and I'm actually being serious this time because a strike what? For fucking smelling the house. The smell? I said, you just need to move, I said you need to move that stuff that was in the bathroom because they said they smelled smoke. Who? And so the neighbour put a complaint in and that's what I reckon because I obviously didn't come to a house inspection and the same girl said to me that I had the neighbour saying they smelled something and they went to come to the house and they said no one's home and they said it smelled and now we've got a strike on our name. They said there better not be any more smells we're going to do another house inspection over the next month. What the hell? How, how yeah. did you get something? Oh, huh? no. Nah. They, 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 they. What? You there? Oh, right. What the fuck? That shit. I know. So, You've been lied to, Lockie! You fucking idiot, Lockie! There is no strike, Lockie! You fucking idiot, Lockie! Oh, 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 Lockie! Oh,
god! Oh my god, Lucky! Oh. Oh, that deserves a beer. Can I have one more, please, James? You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! Lucky, you fucking called it and then you didn't follow through with it. We thought we were fucks this time. Oh, uh, towards the end, I was like, I was like, nah. This is this can't be real. How do I? How does he find out without me? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it fucking worked again. Holy fucking uh, balls. Holy oh, fucking balls. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, Scott, well done, man. Oh, dude, I, I thought you'd That's fucked it, it, but you managed to drag it back somehow. Me too. I was, I was trying to like, lose my lie. Because yeah, because, so dude, I forgot it too. I was like, what's he meant to lie about again? I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm the guiltiest person, so I feel proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fucking called it, and now he's fucking lied to. Anyway, Lucky, sorry about that, and we'll fucking chat to you next That's week. <laughs> 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 See you, boys. Oh, you're such a dumb fucking cunt, Lockie. You are such a dumb. You got Godfrey again, cunt. You are so stupid and dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking retard. Motherfucker. I'll see you later. Oh, see you later, boys. Sorry about Thank that. Thank you, mate. Scotty, oh, legend. Thanks so much for helping. <laughs> see you, dude. <laughs> All right, now, now, I have no, to, now I have to message uh, Bailey and say, look, I'm scared now because he's going to go out. Because we can use Bailey, we can use this exact thing for next no, week. Because this is let's we got to top it, so we're doing a double lie. So we're. We're doubling it. <laughs> but we'll use Bailey again for a phone call in time. What, so so yeah. you want to still follow through still with a double line? Still double follow line. through. It's, it's like, it's perfect. Look it's at Bosley because, right now. Oh, wow, See the, Bosley. the teeth? Yeah, he's missing a bit of a lip. All right, anyway. Well, well, let me just quickly message Bailey and then I'll, I'll, I'll let me still just explain ahead, to him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is the... I, I can't... There's nothing better than lying to Lockie. The lie with Scotty worked. <laughs> That's yeah, so oh, very good. I didn't think that would work. He did really well. He, there was a point he poised he out. Got serious. He's like, like, oh, oh, this is. And then he sort he of. He fucked up one of the smell, but then he, he pulled it back by saying that the neighbor complained. <laughs> that was very good. Yeah, fucking Scotty pulled that out there. And I thought he was fucked from the beginning. But like, he's like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. And oh, remember man. when he was like pulled away from it? Like, oh, this is this. Thinking it's like, oh, it's a lie. But then he came back and goes, I, I think maybe Bailey in that moment backed him up. On this day, on this day in 1965, Elvis Presley was caught running an underground blind boxing competition. He would take blind people and put them in a ring to fight each other. The blind people would swing wild haymakers not knowing where the opponent is until eventually they would start connecting. Fucking hilarious. People would come and watch the spectacle and gamble on the fights. Elvis Presley pleaded guilty and was fined like $1,000 or some shit. Blind boxing still happens to this day. And even I go and watch these fights sometimes. It does sound like... I would watch that. Dude. I would, but I reckon oh. they get way more tired before like a knockout. Yeah, like, a lot of air swings. They just be like air swing and then like... Think about it. If you throw but then, three proper swings... But, these but, boys, but you're waiting for listening. that one perfect yeah. connect. Like you, there Here, will be one time... Ears. There will be one time where you haven't swung and you swing as hard as you can and you connect flush on the other cunt's face. Or even a palm. You just swing like this and your palm goes in through his nose. Yeah. And it pushes the bone into the Have brain. Have you guys ever experimented blind boxing? Oh, we've done blindfolded he, everything else. Man, blind boxing would be a bit him. unfair because of the weight difference. His, his reach is way bigger. It's fucked. Yeah, right. and again, I just feel a bit bad punching friends as well. It would be very difficult. Different Put a stick, stick in my hand. <laughs> it's somehow now it's now it's funny. <laughs> now we're all having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a website video it's, that we did recently. There's something personal about punching some cunt yeah. in the teeth. Cunt. You hit him with a Coming stick, and it's all it's yeah, just it's fun. just it's just playful banter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. All right, um, let's move right along, and we're, we're going to get right into Michael's fucking Bible. Michael is a wise God, and he's written all of his thoughts and wisdom down this into a good. fucking fuck book, and he's going to fucking read an excerpt out for our benefit, you fucking dogs. So get this up your snout and make sure you take it in. Beezus could be a TV show. Yeah, Beezus. He's Beezus while he reads this. He's not Michael or Jesus. 
He's Bezos. <clears throat> He's a renaissance. All right. This is Revelations 369. Oh. It's like down towards threes. the end of it. Okay. <clears throat> bees are bees, trees are trees, and knees are knees. Bees simply see while being in the breeze. Trees try freeing while never actually seeing, and knees kneel never knowing when ever needing. Bees can see knees, but knees can't see bees or trees. Isn't that the bee's knees? 66.9% of beings being have started kneeling while never knowing what they're actually seeing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Wow. So that actually really struck a chord with me. I might read that back later when so I'm alone and cry. Because <laughs> it's so true. It's so true, Matt. Especially that last part. Sorry. Matt? Anyway. Yes. Now, wait, can I get high before this one? Bong. Michael's going to get so high after a few beers then a fucking hit of weed. Dude, he's going to come back like a fucking maniac. Fuck it, I'll have one too, even though it slows my reading down and makes it sound worse. By the end of the season, he's going to be oh, so distrustful. Oh, my God. Come back. Come back. Bailey's just messaged me. He's in the kitchen. I'm having a fake shower. Wait. Okay. Wait, is this... How did they get home so quick? Yeah, uh, they would have left straight after that. They're probably home now. Is this a setup? That's what I'm thinking. Guys, before we do the Matt's Black Book, um, Bailey uh, has just messaged and said, uh, he's in the kitchen. I'm having a fake shower. I'll call him when you ring to look at the water. So did we explain what Bailey was going to do? We did, right? I think so. Yeah. So Bailey, so Scott was meant to be our decoy. Our decoy works, but now we're going to double lie to Lockie because fuck man, fuck him, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for being so gullible. Uh, so he's going to- And such a nice guy. Right, I'm calling him now. Here we go. Here we go. Bailey's going to lie and say the hot water. And out. this could be Lockie trying yeah, to get yeah. back. So yeah, everyone, this... we knew that before it started. So, so fuck yeah, it. Lockie. It's a big, yeah. It's very strange. How he's, they're home so quick all of a sudden. But anyway. Bailey? Oh, no. Yes, definitely. Are you, are you having a, a fake show? You guys got home very quick from the gym. Yeah, we're well, yeah, I'm going out there now. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. He's going out. Rocking. We're not hot water. All the fucking hot water stuff. Oh, yeah. bought the gas for the last week, huh? You've been lying to me, Lucky! You fucking idiot, Lucky! Your hot water's not out! Your hot water's still there, idiot! You fool! What is, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, you fucking, you were, oh. Scotty was our second decoy. You were meant to know that he was lying and then You're Bailey was going to come in and lie. fuck you up at the end with another lie. But we've <laughs> double lied you and I can't. This is Christmas. <laughs> what the fuck is your, I think I hate stuff, Is your middle name Gullible? <laughs> <laughs> Lachlan Gullible Gottfried. <laughs> LGG. <laughs> LGG. <laughs> oh. Started paying off my closest friends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man no one is safe you everyone is lying to you always doubt oh. everything that you're told Lachlan anyway sorry to waste your time again we better get on with the podcast yeah see ya alright boys enjoy your time and enjoy your podcast boys I'll see you next week <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, he started screaming just as I hung up damn it 
<laughs> it brings like a uh, meaning to life. Uh, yeah, oh. very good. Oh, sorry we doubted you there, Bailey. That was fucking. Oh, I imagine tried. if our whole podcast was just lying to lock. Yeah, and we changed the name to lying, lying to, to lock, lock, and we, we became obsessed with it. Or and we dedicated every minute of every hour to just <laughs> let people make sure people were lying to him lie after. Or lie the after lie after podcast lie. where you can just do lie after lie. To probably friends. that's not illegal, and like we're ruining his life because after a while he wouldn't know what's reality and what's not. <laughs> We really fuck him up. Yeah, and just, he has to go to some side <laughs> ward. It's like, it's like he's trying to get therapy. And hey, Lucky, I'm not Lucky, am I? <laughs> He thinks, he thinks the therapists are lying to him. Yeah. <laughs> They've gotten to you, haven't they? You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, we have. <laughs> yes, oh, luckily they oh, have. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, anyway, we that's, the lying podcast. So that's the end goal with the whole lying to Lucky segment. Is to ruin his Start life yeah. so much that he has to go to therapy and we'll find out who the therapist is and then bang, <laughs> the ultimate lie. Am I lucky? Imagine him saying that. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, we'll get a therapist to convince him that he's not lucky. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank this you. is going to be hard to top every week, but like, it took a lot of effort to get this one across the line. Well, think about it. That You strung that together today. Yeah, it's true. So, like, we can come up. Lucky is there to lie to forever. Imagine if we put two days into it. That is so true. I think we need to start recording the podcast on different days, though, to throw him off a bit. Well, now James has the garage for us. Yeah. That's so true. Imagine on a Tuesday, right? On the way to Toka, he's coming. Boom, easy lie. Or just do what Lock, uh, Bailey did and just have it pre-recorded. So we call him, record it from another sort of source. <laughs> oh, the whole Dang. water set. So we can just do it whenever we want. I'll start doing it at like 3 a.m. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's right. that's the end goal of lying to Lockie. All right, anyway. we did it. All right, let's move right along. All right, everyone. Now it's time for um yeah it's probably the hardest segment of the whole podcast it's matt's black book and what he's done is he's um, written down about every sexual uh, experience that he's had in his entire life and matt went through a really dark stage in his life so some of these are very graphic and very real and very confronting so if you're easily offended or easily triggered fuck off cunt Fuck off. <laughs> All right. So a bit of a stay read. fucked off and stay <laughs> fucked off. <laughs> if you're easily triggered, fuck off and stay fucked off. <laughs> that should be on a shirt, cunt. Imagine having that should be on a shirt, cunt, on a shirt, and says on a shirt. <laughs> hashtag Hashtag oh, as well shit. The word hashtag <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway last episode As you remember Pinocchio um, Unfortunately um, Passed away And then Matt went to Cleanse his soul Which um, to Matt Brown Means uh, fucking the priest um, Yeah and it was quite a A graphic fucking And he's <laughs> fucked a baby whale <laughs> Don't ever forget that. Yeah. A baby whale while its mother watched from the ocean. <laughs> Remember, Matt? Oh, my God. A baby whale. In its blowhole, you fucked. Anyway, we'll move on. <sighs> Sorry. Mm, Matt Blackbook. Have number 60. I like the friction. I'm not. I was bathing in hooker blood and sucking on frozen steak chunks. I slid down so my head is completely submerged in the hooker blood. I feel the blood creep into my nostrils and I breathe in. It spills onto my lungs and I chuckle to myself. <laughs> this is living. I feel relaxed, strong, healthy and powerful. I was finally ready to get my life back on track and become my family's primary haver. It was time to take Queston down. That cunt had been ruling for far too long. I get out of the bath and wait until nightfall. Tonight I attack and reclaim what's mine. The clock strikes midnight and it was time. I slither out from the foxhole where I lived. The cool night breeze kisses my skin and I sniff the air to get my bearings. <laughs> I 
sorted through all the different scents and finally locked onto questions. I face backwards in the direction I want to go and begin bounding. <clears throat> I bounded backwards through the forest, on the highway, and even and over a river. I reached speeds of over 160 kilometers an hour, which was a new PB for me. This was the strongest I'd ever been. I arrived on the outskirts of Queston's house and quietly observed to get as much intel as possible. All the lights were off. Everyone must be sleeping. I get closer. I peek through the window. My eyes dart around the room like a meth rat. No one in the lounge room. I creep to the next window and once again have a peek. This reminded me of my peek. Keeping Tom days and I got a bit excited. I stare into the next room and sure enough, it's Queston's bedroom. I could hear him in the shower in his ensuite and I could see the lights spilling into, be into the bedroom from under the ensuite door. I quietly open the window and crawl in. I sit on a chair and stretch my cock in and out a bit in preparation. My teats start lactating and I ruffle my feathers. The shower turns off and Queston opens the ensuite door, wearing nothing but a towel. He steps into his bedroom and pauses. He looks up and our eyes meet. Ah! I scream as I lunge forwards, knees first. I aimed my knees straight at Queston's fucking skull. My knees slam into Queston's head and I hear his skull crack. His body goes limp and we crash onto the floor. Queston was unconscious on the floor. I scramble on top of him. My mouth latches onto his tit and I begin sucking hard. Queston regains consciousness and I see him lift his fucked head with his shit long black hair. He sees me and by this stage I've sucked his entire left half of his chest in my mouth and down my throat. He grabs my head and tries to push me down off of him. He was so weak from being knocked unconscious from my knee bomb. My little brown is now rock hard and I feel it slither in between Queston's legs. Queston fights weakly but I'm far too strong. Uh, so stop Matt. I forfeit. Just please don't have me. Queston begins to beg and I know I had him. I have now sucked his entire chest into my mouth and it was stretching the skin on his sides so much that it started to tear. My little brown glides into Queston's ass and starts laying eggs. I roll my hips forwards and backwards and my testicles start purring like a cat. Queston starts punching down on my head as now I've sucked his entire front of Queston's body into my mouth. Uh, uh, Queston starts screaming in pain as his skin starts to tear from his body. My fucking intensifies and my dick starts to spin as I thrust. My blood turns to cream and my body hair turns to barbed wire. I'm about to mince. I keep sucking at Queston's front and finally his skin gives way. His entire chest, in including his pectoral muscles, slow up into my mouth just as I begin mincing. Bang! <laughs> then everything went quiet, went black. I felt my body slump forwards and Queston's chest cascaded out of my mouth as I could no longer suck. I opened my eyes and managed to muster enough strength to turn my head. Standing in the doorway, holding a baseball bat, was Quire. She was breathing heavily and had one of her breasts exposed. You did not know I was visiting, did you, Matthew? I was too weak to talk and felt blood pouring out of my head. I grunted. That's the last have you'll ever have, Matthew. Goodbye. Quiet stepped forwards and swung the bat directly at my head. Everything went black again as she connected. Bang! 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 Hit after hit, Quiet mashed my skull. Then I felt like I was falling, falling and falling. <laughs> then I slammed onto the ground. It was hot. Very hot. My vision returns and my senses come back to me. I hear screaming and burning. I sit up. I'm surrounded by fire and people screaming in pain. I see a creature walk towards me. <laughs> Welcome to hell, Matthew Brown! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yes! Holy shit, is that why your head's like that? You had dints and shit. <laughs> oh, imagine if you were just mush in your head. Anyway, holy shit, man, dude. Oh, man. You've been to hell. <laughs> is that why you like ACDC so much? <laughs> Akadaka. So good. I'm like confused as well, though. It's like, oh, sorry. It's hard to wrap your head around. Oh, fuck shit. Oh, I can't wait to hear about hell. Is oh, it that wow. bad? Well, you have to wait next week. Oh, like, Dad. You, I'm, like, how the fuck would you get out of hell? We just have to wait and see. You must have done some fucking shit. Man, I can't shit. believe how, many, how much shit you haven't told us about your life. This is your Man, life. I, mum comes out of nowhere. Choir 
is Matt's mom for new podcast listeners. And fucking hell. Yeah, she's she, quiet and questions mom. You have to be a sick bitch to hit your son's... Oh, And she had a tit out. She had one tit just dangling out. <laughs> in the center part? She killed me. In the middle breast? Holy wow, so shit. So you must really not like your mum then. Well, you guys have worked it out, obviously. I love my mum. Well, the choir mum. The, yeah, the birth mum. With your, your mum from Planet Quelch. You always get a bit babyish, fiddly when we do your black book. <laughs> it's fiddling with a baby a bit. Oh, man. That Somebody was... commented that. As they said, every time Brown gets happy, he that's He's hiding feet. his fucking uh, sack filling with mints and his rock hard cock trying to slither its way From out the old Look stories. <laughs> yeah, fuck, oh. man. Oh. I know what you'd be doing, Flanner. All right, what are we up to now, cunt? Fuck, we're. we're question. Cow questions. Man, um, I can't believe we've like, gone boom, to hell. Um, that's um, fucking um, crazy. Oh, fuck. Um, Oi, we need to do the screaming segment real quick. Oh, yeah. Is Jet going to maybe cover his ears? Uh, uh. Oh, actually. Just a quick. Uh, should, we, should we skip it? Oh, fuck. He's getting good at it. The screaming. Don't worry. I've got to take him for a skate anyway. It'll, 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 it'll be over in 60 seconds tops. Yeah, true. It's like 20 seconds normally. Anyway, um, uh, fucking bong, bong break. Should we call James for the screaming segment? <laughs> oh, he's on his walk. <laughs> and we're back. All right, it's time for the screaming segment where we call a random business and I scream as loudly as I can and we see how long it takes for them to hang up. If they can make it to 60 seconds without hanging up, I have to then say to them, you win this time. Oh, you win this round? You win this round. You win this round. How you long scream. do we think How long do we think they'll last? I'm going to say 28 seconds. I'm going to say um, 12 seconds just because... It's, it's 7.30. It's like oh, lo- yeah, the dinner, dinner rush. rush. You are. Can I change my answer? No. That's okay. locked in now forever. You got to take everything into account. I'll go eight seconds. Phone on private. Oh, good thinking, Brown Town. Good Brown thinking. Town. Brown Town. Brown Town. Oh, imagine if we got a triple Lion Locky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just call Locky and scream. <laughs> oh my god oh, right that was fast that was fast. eight seconds that was seven seconds oh Jesus. wow she had Good no time no time for us fair enough too that's like <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fucking piece of shit for doing that like wasting their time like that. I love it. Like that, imagine that how, that how intense every day. how intensely loud that would be on your ear. You'd like pull it away from your head because you're so fucked off, cunt. Yeah, you'd be yeah, pissed. You'd be you'd grumpy. <laughs> imagine if I was actually getting murdered though. Then you know you'd look into that and think, oh, maybe she shouldn't have been so dismissive. Anyway, moving right along. Oh, very good. Very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very good. It's handy. Love the screaming segment. Comment what businesses you think we should um, scream at, guys. Like, give us some suggestions. We're all ears, cunt. All right, guys. It's time for the moo. The cow. The comment of the week. And this is a separate comment competition to our other comment competition. We pick the best, funniest, random little comment, right? And we cut it out and we stick it on our board of comments. So it'll only be one from every episode. (laughs) Ooh. And then we pick one at the very end of the season to be the comment of the year. All right. So, and we just pick anything. All right. It's just random. But if you want that other comment competition, it's far cooler. Comment as many times as you can. It's every comment is an entry. Do you understand? Mm. It's very good. Okay. It's easy money. Elon Musk. If you put in the hours, you get rewarded. Matt. Take it away, Matt. Um, all right. Uh, the comment. Oh, sorry. The cow of the week. The comment sorry. of the week. Yeah. Don't, don't, comment don't of do the that. Week. Don't say that. Comment of the week, Matt. Comment it's the, the cow. Co- comment of the week. A cow is the abbreviation for sorry. comment of week. You understand? Oh. oh. All right. Um, <sighs> Fuck. So man. cow went to uh, Sam Pauling. Ha. Huh. Huh. And his comment was, 
I still don't understand how these two could teach tennis around little kids. Laughing face. So oh, true. Wow, okay. Matt chose that one. I reckon if, yeah, memories of Marty coaching kids is like, if he's not near the parents. Look, at yeah, it was, it's a, like, it was an experiment for me. He would just make sounds. Me, 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 me. Because they just get engaged by sounds, kids. So like oh. if, if, at a certain age, once they got a bit older, I would obviously have to. Imagine walking do, past do a, a tennis job. court and you see a tennis coach and a bunch of kids and he's me 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 me. Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah, like, what the yeah, fuck is weird, that? Real weird. A couple of times. I was. I always put the effort in to make it like so. You. <laughs> whenever Michael. Because I always would have to be Michael, near the parents. Michael, so whenever, I'd have to like. Whenever oh, Michael, had, kids. Michael had all the kids accumulate in front of him, he'd be like, "All right, guys. Uh, now we're gonna do some." Uh, uh, for, he'd misspeak slightly and I'd be like oh, oh, mistake mistake yeah. I'd, I'd stop, we I'd stop the classes. his announcement <laughs> like, oh, that, that was a mistake <laughs> Marty would like point out like oh yeah it's not the baseline it's the service line like yeah. oh fucking hell just, oh, he's made a mistake or if he misspoke like instead of forehand said oh. floor hair and he just hit like fucking like balls at me randomly he just <laughs> smash balls at me in front of the kids and like the kids are like oh <laughs> what the fuck was that you just acted oh. violence out oh anyway. man there were some fucking animals that, remember some of the cages i remember being on top court and looking down and you were, had to like fill in for some coach and you really didn't want to and it was like the most naughtiest class i'd ever fucking seen i'm like grabbing at you throwing rackets everywhere and i was just standing on top court Piecing myself off. Yeah, laughing. and I could hear it. <laughs> and that broke the net or something. Would you oh, hit tennis balls down to the shit. bottom court, Adam? <laughs> well, you have to hit over the fence, so it's hard, it's hard to accurate. Oh. Actually, no, we would. During, I, I remember I'd always have just now and yeah, then during yeah. private, so I'd have a hit. Just another oh, yeah, that, yeah, you're and right, you'd that now does and happen. then get a hit on you. And be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. It's really awkward in front of the flick, Lily. Yeah, if the parents weren't there, you'd do that. Yeah. But like, oh, it was rough. Rough right. job. <clears throat> anyway, moving <laughs> right it? along. Yeah, it was, man. That was a rough it, job. Dude, yeah, you've got to like, it's, it's uh, like having kids' enthusiasm look, for like, look, oh. put it put it this way. Look, <laughs> you you always have eyes on you, right? So people are paying a lot of money to make sure that every minute is well used. So you have to be on uh, 100% of the time. You can't like look down and just chill out, go on your phone for a sec, go to the toilet, get a, at wholesome, you, you can go to the fucking toilet, you can't probably, you? Yeah. You can oh, go, to, you the go toilet, to the toilet. You can get a drink, can't you? There are moments oh, yeah. when you can just chill and just breathe. I wouldn't say in chill the, and breathe, but there are moments you can get like a, uh, in the deli at Woolworths. I used to go in the freeze, like the cold room, and I just eat for salami. A <laughs> yeah, like, I could chill. I'd literally just spend time in the cool room, sitting there. Yeah. Tennis coaching. There's not only the usually a parent there, and the kid is there as well, obviously, to keep an eye on you. There's there's fucking parents everywhere who are paying a lot of money. So expect results it's fucked man i always i always maintain like an hour a t one hour of coaching is two hours of a normal job mm. it's more yeah mentally effort. and physically fucking draining i'm gonna ask greg yeah oh yeah do oh. it that he will fucking agree cunt but that's what any tennis coach will know any coach in a sport will know this anyway sorry and sorry. fucking what's you got to get up at five oh, start at that. six to like ten have a massive break in the middle of the day. You have to you get up and like enjoy four to go your work time. Yeah, off. listen, mate, and then you coach again from three oh. and don't finish until nine thirty. Some fucking butt fuck away, away, away. You got to drive, drive your home. car to different places. It's and fucked. get to sleep by midnight and then up again at five. You have no option. You have no option. Your days are huge, cunt. They're like fifteen hour days with a and when you've got time off in between, in you're thinking about the next job. So you, you can only enjoy a day off if you don't have to work at the end of the day. If you have to work at the end of the day, it sucks. Sorry. Why didn't you guys quit? Well, we just yeah, we, we, we would have we would have. I was doing my own thing, and it was like I was doing such a bad job. There was classes I loved though. I Shout remember you to told them. me you were getting paid in cash once and you were like every oh. yeah everything was cash and, and you were like I forgot to do my tax for like yeah the ages. tax man <laughs> for like that six was hard. years and you're like so difficult you're wondering if the, the boss would get audited and like I was just every, there was nothing was like like I did a good job coaching but like I didn't bother marketing or doing anything business related I just didn't give a shit it was just word of mouth here and there like, yeah, whatever oh fuck that shit man Fuck but that shit hard. Tennis. So, met some now. lovely people. Though, Shout okay? out to tennis. Yeah, and some of the people <laughs> I coached, you know, very 
cool people, but fuck me. That job can fuck off, cunt. It's hard. Anyway, on to the questions. This is where we answer your questions that you comment on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel and the ones that are most liked, we usually answer first, and then we work our way down. So once you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the questions that you want us to answer. Let's go, Brown. All right, top question went to SR. Uh-huh. Question for the podcast. Could you do live Q&As with us website members for the world's longest podcast record attempt? We would 100% keep you awake. Yeah, um, under, yeah. yeah, we will... Dude, that's oh. a great idea. During our record attempt, we'll just be like, "All right, guys, send us your numbers, and we'll call them." We could do we could do it multiple times because you'd have the Australian crew, and then you'd be we'll going just go live in the Facebook group. Bang, we'll answer yeah. all your and questions. That's goes, exactly right. That's actually that. As UK wakes up, you got the other side of the world, so you'd still be going. Uh, well, I saw a comment that was had lots of likes. What was it in relation to again? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, Teddy's grey on stuff said. Um, you guys said if a segment gets like 60 likes we'll do it he said okay so I really want to see you both film each other walking into restaurants and eating people's food you get a point for every second you stay by the table eating the forfeit is that the loser has to go to a really expensive restaurant oh shit what did he say and buy their own meal and then pour it on themselves in front of everyone. How many likes does that have? 92. Okay, so um, so that was for a segment suggestion, right? That sounds more like a video idea, but we want podcast segment suggestions. Oh, look, I'll write that idea down, all right? I'm going to put that in my... Because since I got 92 likes, we'll write it down, eating other people's food at Food Court. Well, I would you, do that. Oh, well, you know... Um, you know it's very rude. <laughs> you yeah, would hate was, to do that, but... You know on the restaurants along Eagle Street Pier... Uh, they're like five star and they're right on the pier like you can walk up to their tables like that would fuck. yeah the higher quality i'd go to like a shithole food oh, court okay. and just go to a fish take some chips or and something have a chip okay yeah Sorry. if you go to Sorry. fine dining they'll just call the cops immediately exactly yeah anyway Sorry. um yeah good suggestion we uh we mean like a an ongoing podcast segment suggestion if that gets 60 likes we will imp- implement it immediately i think don't. Sorry. Next, next fly lay, yeah? Next fly lay, lay, lay. Um, um, uh, Next question is from Jaden Rice. Sorry. Um, Marty, how's the heart going? I just wanted to get an update. Uh, he's going through bad health and anxiety a few times about his heart as well. Um, he said he always felt um, bad for what you're going through because he's going through the exact same thing and he feels it. So he just wanted to get an update. Um, it's gone pretty fucking good. I, like I said, I, a few weeks ago, I had the shits. And I, like, lo- I lost like four to five kilos during that two weeks of where I couldn't really, didn't really eat much. And um, I haven't felt the blood pressure. I haven't felt it as much. And, and I'm just sort of, so I've, I've trimmed down a little bit and fucking... Yeah, I just don't feel it as much. It, I just feel like it's just getting at the beginning of the year. My body was just so fucked, and now it's just progressively getting better and better and better. And fucking who knows? Yeah, it's I, I don't feel it right now, so I haven't even been measuring it. But it, it feels like it's gotten a lot better. So I'm doing good. It's it's fucking improving, and I'm just going to the gym, working out, and just getting fitter and fitter. Running is easier now again. Yeah, well, maybe it's the running because yeah, that's been going on for a while now. What you've been doing a lot of running. Yeah, but on and off. I'll go like hard for two weeks and then have like, you know, two weeks off. But yeah, now I'm just doing it every now and then. You're not in line for sads. Yeah. Yeah, no. And, you know, I reckon, yeah, who knows? It could have been like some fucking COVID shit in me heart. And now that it's just after time that your body just gets it out. Next question is from Caleb King. Uh, Question for the podcast. As an avid smoker of weed, I know I want to try something stronger. What would you boys recommend as the next step up? Get what? get medicinal oh no if you're an avid smoker well firstly try edibles which you probably have but edibles are far more intense than smoking you start with a little bit of edibles and mix that in with your smoking or get fucking get some medicinal get some medicinal marijuana with a very high thc percentage Mm. and that will fucking oh what else i reckon just start meth yeah or meth (laughs) just branch out and try something else how's that going Matthew Are you Brown. Are actually going to do it by the end of the year? I uh, know. the. If we all do it, will you do math? No, no. Remember you said you'd offer me $1,000 to do math yeah, for the next yeah. boys trip. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's said. still on the table. So it's happening? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Medical. About fucking weed? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Sometimes, don't you reckon, you get higher if you just smash a whole joint rather than trying to do bong after bong? 
Yeah, be, yeah, you even, yeah, you wait, enjoy it more too. Yeah, so, so try try different ways of consuming. Like joints will fucking get you higher than like doing three bongs. Yeah, whatever you're not used to, try that. Yeah, and then see what assess and um, reassess. Roger and do math. Sorry. Um, next question uh, is from Tyler Welch. Welsh? Welch. Oh shit. Oh no. Depending where he's from. You know what to do. Um, Marty, what's it like being a dad with having while having a social media job like you do? Yeah, it's it's fine so far. But yeah, it'll definitely have its challenges. I don't like having her in videos and shit. I don't know, you know, if it's okay to put her on fucking Instagram stories and shit. I, you just don't know. There's so much unknown. You don't know if it's better for her. Because like, like I could start her Instagram and, you know, start putting her in videos and shit and then getting her a following. But then is it bad? Because she then doesn't have a choice. I'm sure she'd say yes. And she does. She wants to start YouTube channels and shit. But I don't know if I want to do that to her where you fucking you get her a bit of fame and people know who she is. And then you can't undo that. It's catch 22. Yeah. And then it's like, it might be good in some ways, but she might also not like it. And then she hasn't even had a choice in the matter because mm. I've just gone, oh yeah, I'm going to start promoting your fucking YouTube channel. So it's good and bad. You just, I just don't know what to do. So I'm just sort of like waiting until she's a bit older and then fucking talk to her again about it yeah what age do you reckon you like go what age do you reckon a teenager or an, a kid can come to you and go yeah i want to start a youtube channel and you go yeah it's well cool. there's heaps of kids youtube channels these days but you just like yeah but they start off smart they're, there's nothing to know about them their their actual personal world it's all just in like a little room and they're doing something this you know toy I mean? is cool yeah, blah 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 exactly well with you everyone a bit more yeah and then like if I started with Esther you know obviously the goal would be to make it succeed so like I would promote it and then Mm. anyway you just have to do a way that in a way that if you were going to do it you'd have to do it in a way that it obviously protects her as well yeah that's all Uh, next question is from Helen Smith Um, uh, guys I love the podcast oh sorry great podcast by the way (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah I uh, got a question, Michael. What is the worst or or worst or most disgusting thing you've ever stood on? Considering you <laughs> go bare feet a lot, you wouldn't even notice. Now we can't feel anything. Look how hard they are. Okay, look at that. Before talk oh. art yesterday, when I was buying a gel blaster, just before I walked into the shop, I stepped on a piece of glass and it went straight into my toe. <laughs> and I, I got I got to the point after I bought the gun and got into the car. It was dark, so I couldn't really see it, and the light wasn't working. So I just oh, started flicking, flicking it. it, dude. And like, I mixed it in, and like, I played Toka with glass on my foot last night. Oh, and I, I think it's just in there now. That's how it is. That's it's, my foot. There's a bit of just let it die. sand that's been melted down in there. Just let it die. I think maybe you've you it's gone up in your veins and it's working your way up to a body till it goes to your heart, and then your heart will explode. Okay, I can't say that it's not not dangerous to wear no shoes but i can tell you that the positives to it are feeling so much more freer and better with grip i don't know there's some something monkey about my feet now that can just i can spread them out and i can push off better i keep i never fall over okay i can't wait to show this to you after you've stood on a needle and tested positive for hiv yeah that's what i used to oh. think about as a kid but and i do i do there's been moments when i've been like in parks and i've thought of needles and then i've seen needles as i'm walking and i'm like wow could it could have stepped on it okay. sorry um sorry all right next one is from uh ward ward um he basically said, um, "Boys, the animation was fantastic." Uh, yeah, uh, oh, that's what bravo to, to whoever put that together. Um, I sort of thought we could Goob. Um, yeah, from Goob. Goob. give a shout out to so Goob for doing that. Cracker Milk is a YouTube channel that this guy um, is in, and um, Goob is his name, and he's a very funny animator and just a very funny guy in general. So, what's he? What's he on on Instagram? I think he's Goob. Yeah, just Goob, yeah. isn't it? Goob dot something. Maybe if you go to. Um, uh, the fully actual Instagram and look at who we follow Goob is in there yeah well there you go G double O B dot C O Goob dot co sorry yeah very good artist and he is the creator behind the animations and we don't know what to where to fucking put it it's on our website at the moment but we want to make it free because to the podcast community we don't want you to have to sign up but 
we can't, we're too scared to put that shit on YouTube because our channel just get a strike immediately. So should we put it on OnlyFans? So we'll put the link for our OnlyFans in the description and it will be free, of course. But you, um, but you might have to just make an account, which might be annoying, but yeah. fuck, it's the only way we can give it to you without any kind of punishment. And there's sexy media. photos of us. <laughs> yeah, plus yeah. there's a few sexy oh. photos of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Someone's going to steal Someone, that. And- one day that's going to be on the, one of yours is going to be on the front cover of a fucking <laughs> newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> brown, brown strikes again <laughs> when you relapse. Oh. What's your name? Black Flun. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a Black Fun. <laughs> black Fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at oh. the smile. All right. So, um, next question is from Bo. Uh, will you ever do a live action episode of the Black Book? What's and, that mean? And would Matt Brown star in a live action? So reenact it. Yeah. We need CGI, and it'd be difficult. Well, yeah, you would. Need well, he can CGI. do a lot of the things because it's him. Like making a movie, but like obviously using the black book as a storyline. Yeah. Oh, that would be a. Ama- oh, yeah. it, it'd take a lot of work. You need. And it yeah. needs to be animated. I don't know if some of the things are possible. But yeah, that's what, it'd be like a. I don't know, like a weirdo. <gasps> I'd be like a horror comedy. Yeah. yeah scary like- movie six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Green can play me. It's weird that all of our uh, sketches back in the day would have like a weird like horror theme to them. Always something really creepy going on. Yeah. Well, I think it's like dark <laughs> comedy. Oh, hey, it fucking happened. fly, Liza. Um, all right. I've got two more questions. Fuck um, fuck next it. one is from Harvey. Uh, um, are you guys going to add a search option to the website? I find it a bit hard to navigate and looking for a specific video is difficult sometimes. Yes, we and currently right now in development is our brand new website, which will have that and more. So just bear with us a few more weeks, and um, yeah, where we'll, the new website will finally be something that's just not a fucking what is it a, a plug-in? You know, one of those plug-in websites. So it's been far too long. So we finally we've upgraded. Yeah, it's it's upgraded. So all of those search issues will no longer be an issue. And like. Two you're gonna be able tops. to comment on vids. Yeah, you're gonna be able to comment. You're gonna have you, like you. Yep, yeah, yeah, We'll be fucking. Uh, uh, it's it's new. Okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, final final question, question is from Peter F- File. Hunt. Oh, Peter File. <laughs> All right, uh, boys. Uh, would you ever take the podcast on tour? I don't know. I guess so. If that's what the people wanted, imagine this in front of an audience. Man, it'd be a I lot wonder of, how that would be. Wonder, what would we do for bong breaks? Just have bong. Fuck it. Smoke, smoke weed. Have huge yeah. bongs. Just hope the police. Aren't <laughs> well, I reckon we'll be real fat and fucked by then. Oh, <laughs> Matt will be completely bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made me want to wee. Um, <laughs> other podcasters have done it. I've yeah. done live ones, but an actual live tour. I know, like Tom Segura, comedian. He does like live tour podcasts. Why are you yelling? (laughs) (laughs) Tom Segura. Oh Oh, man. So yeah, you'd have to be, it'd be a bit different to this. Yeah. We'd have to get a bit bigger first. Surely we'd have to like get to like, maybe like, I don't know. 200, yeah, so, 200k subscribers yeah, on YouTube. You can't tour when you get what, like 10,000 yeah, views. Yeah, that would be so embarrassing. Imagine you if we went to some huge yeah. <laughs> some theatre and there's like 13 people there. We're just out the front drinking going, can you just come in and watch <laughs> us, eh? Please come and watch <gasps> us. Oh, oh, man. Yuck. That's what we're worried about. We, we would, would pay happen. people to come see the sh- show. That, that'd be it. Fair enough. Anyway, so, yeah. we'll consider Sorry. it. We'll consider it. Anyway, it's yeah, we'll time. definitely do it. <laughs> it's time for the fucking prank call, everyone. Oh, and by the way, the end of last week's podcast, you might have noticed where there was a bit of commotion. We heard a bang. We figured out what we decided. It was a possum or some shit. I don't know what we said. We just gave up. We went outside. There was nothing there. There was something. But what yeah, an animal. I we think did it was an film. Animal. We did film us going outside. That's on the fully actual uh, uh, podcast Instagram in the potty prep videos yeah well there you go you can go check that so out. yeah it was nothing guys nothing freaky happened and now it's the end of this episode <laughs> we've also got the prank call where I'm yeah. gonna be Margaret and um, tr- call a, a gym and try and get per, uh, personal training sessions for her son Bront here we go sorry <clears throat> 
Yeah. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> mm, I'm Margaret. Yeah. Thanks for <laughs> Hey, how are you? Um, I'm just calling around. I sort of live in the area, and I'm wondering um, if you guys do a personal training sessions for um, for children for for a 14 year old. It would be for my 14 year old son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we definitely have personal okay. trainers here that are able to train. Yeah. Uh, the, the younger generation, absolutely. Oh, that's great to hear. Um, he, he hasn't really done much uh, physical exercise in his life, um, and and he has a few. Um, look, he does have some learning um, d- d- disabilities, some some quite heavy, dense learning uh, disabilities. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. So, if we could find a personal trainer who has either um, dealt with something like that in their lives, or has the experience yeah. to maybe to know how to navigate some of the uh, behaviours that um, my son Bront will be. Um, Exhibiting, yeah. So, so what, is, yeah, is, is, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, um, is it so there is a PT there who's able to help with that? Is that correct? Yes, that is definitely correct. Okay, that's that's great to hear. Um, what sort of times um would would be available for that? Yeah. Um, it just depends. So we obviously, um, to be able to come into the club, we would need to get a membership. Right, um, yeah. And then from there, the personal trainers run their own business. Right, um, yeah, so I the see. people that we'd have in mind, you just need to contact directly and find out when they're available to work. Okay, that's great. So um, how, how, about, how about this? Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about Bront, and then maybe if you could um, contact some of the PTs who have some availabilities and then see if they're willing to take on the challenge. Yeah, how about that? Well, have you thought about maybe coming into the club and actually checking out the facility? Um, and then that way you can check out all of our personal <laughs> trainer profiles and things like that, and then we can go from there for you. Yeah, no, look, th- that sounds great. Um, let me just first lift off, list, list off some of the behaviours um, that my son, Bront, may um, exhibit, and then we can sort of um, gauge and see if, if you think there'll be any PTs willing to work with him. Um, so, so, like I mentioned, he's 14, um, and he's quite a large boy. He's probably um, close to 100 kilos. Yeah, he's quite tall. Um, and like I mentioned with the uh, he- heavy learning d- disabilities, he's got quite a large uh, skull uh, with dints on it. Um, there's a few dints around it. And, and he's quite shy, qu- quite a shy boy. Um, but he f- does follow direction. He doesn't really talk back, but he's quite um, quite grabby. So you might want to write that down too, that he can be quite grabby. So, so potentially maybe... a, a a male personal trainer would be the best fit for that. What, what, what do you think about that so far? It's completely fine, but like I've mentioned, I think it's definitely best that you pop into the club to check out yeah. the personal trainer's profiles and then we can yeah. sit down and go with you from there. Totally hear what you're saying. Um, just one last sort of um, thing to add, though. Um, he can get... Um, yeah. Look, I I have seen him get quite violent at times, but that's only when um, you're doing things that he very clearly doesn't like. Okay, so th- there there have been times I've seen him grab hair, and he'll need um, running water around him at all times because he does get dry mouth quite quickly, and he does sort of lash out and sort of swing and punch. Um, but once he gets to know someone, he should be quite fine. He yells a lot. He, he yells out at people. And I have actually seen him um, urinate um, in in what he's wearing if his uh, demands aren't met. So uh, do, do you sort of understand where I'm going here? He's um, quite difficult to deal with. Yeah, I do understand. Again, you just need yeah. to pop into the class with our team and then we can go from there for you, okay? So so you're saying there is a personal trainer who'd be willing to accommodate all of these um, slight issues there? It, yeah. It just depends. Um, we may need to obviously have a, a guardian screams. present during the time, but okay. we can definitely work with that and see what we can do, okay? I am willing to sit in on the session, but he screams. He screams a lot. Okay, uh, he's a very um, deep, loud voice. Um, he's quite hairy, um, and yeah, he screams loudly. And and when he starts screaming, there will be no controlling him. I do have a leash that I can bring. I can show you how to put the harness on, and I will show that to the personal trainer. Okay, but one he does he does scream quite a lot, so it could be annoying to the other patrons. Is there an area at the gym where the the personal trainer can take him and t- take him for one on one? sessions so he's away from everyone else hello
Hello, have I lost you? Hello. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Oh, she, the bitch has fucking hung up on me. <laughs> Well, if she can't handle that, she won't be handling Bront. <laughs> Bosley, come here, Bosley. 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 Oh, Bosley. Oh, Bosley. Good boy, Bosley. Everything's Bosley. okay. Everything's quite all right, Bosley. Yeah, don't worry about that. Mummy's just having a chat to the personal trainers. Bosley. Yeah. <laughs> so why did you go and have a fucking seat? Sorry, it's just hard to snap out of that then. Damn it, I wish she stayed on for a bit longer. Oh, oh I think it was. It was, <laughs> it was great. I, I couldn't think of shit then. The, the, the middle part of that prank call, that hasn't happened in a while. The, the, yeah. Nothing was coming to my mind. I, it's I like, terrifying I when that happens. I like the old way we did it because I could whisper things into your ear. Because, like, like, because then they don't hear, but I can't say that on here because then you hear me. Yeah, yeah. Hears. Ah, oh, we've just finished the prank haul now, and now it's time to go. That's the end of episode number 24, Skin. We're the best. 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 We're the best.